Hello everyone, Pinny Productions here, and today I'm back for round three of season two for my F1 2016 career mode. And in this episode, we go to China for round two, and I'm going to be turning the difficulty up, AI driver level hard. I'm going to put it on expert for this episode, so let's see how that goes. And we have our new upgrade for the chassis weight, so I'm going to be going to practice again. I don't put that in the episodes anymore, so next time you will see is in qualifying. So I have completed the practice session one, and now I'm going to the one-shot qualifying. So then I'm going to go out on the super soft compound tires which is the fastest tyre available, and the weather looks very nice for this session. Coming into turn one now, down through the gears. I have put the difficulty setting up an extra setting, so hopefully we're not too far off the target of 10th place. So okay though, I'm back on track. Oh no, I'm outside my target. DRS, let's go. Oh no, I've dropped another position. Down into P7. Oh, back to P11. I need to nail this final corner. Took the bollard with me. Run a little bit wide there. DRS, bit late. And P8. And my teammate is in P11. So yeah, that looks pretty realistic there for a position. A little bit better than my teammate, but I quite like that position. So those are the resource points we got. How's the rifle going? Oh, just beating my teammate, Sergio Perez. Uh, well, yeah, they're all plus ones. To the laptop. Okay, let's see what R&D upgrades we could do. We could do fuel efficiency. Can't do any of those yet. Hmm. I think I'll wait till the next episode and do a downforce upgrade. Uh, that will probably be the best way to go, so let's go to the race. So it's a wet race, and I will be going with intermediate tyres until the end, it seems, my team is saying. Although it does seem like it will be getting drier as the race goes on, it seems uh, the clouds at the top, the race will, it will stop raining. So I might be able to go onto a dry set of tyres, but let's start the race. As we go to five red lights... And away we go for the start of this Chinese Grand Prix. I'm off to a good start, about to overtake Alonso on the inside. I can feel a little bit of a fishtail going on. Alonso's going to try and go around my outside, but I'm not going to let him have it. Going to touch at Ricardo here. Not touch him, but sort of edge past him, see if I can get past. But now I'm on the outside for turn three, I believe this one is. And coming out now is... Ricardo gonna take the line. Yes, he is. Ricardo's taken P6. Oh, now I've been and I've been compromised to Alonso. This wet race isn't going too well. Looking up here into turn this one, I don't know the number. I always feel tempted to press the Y button now after playing Project Cars to look backwards. Even though I just do it on the stick, I just feel tempted now to press the Y button. Weird, I know. Oh, not well, going a bit too wide here. I think it might be a little bit too wet for these tyres, at least at the moment, while they're still cold. Seems like my teammate's got a better start than I have. He's moved up positions. I've moved down one, I believe, or have I stayed? No, I stayed the same. I qualified P8 and now I'm back in P8, so not too bad, actually, considering that. Going to try and get some speed up here, um, generate some downforce. That'd be quite nice to do in this straight line. Although I'm going to be breaking quite early for this hairpin at the end. I don't want to outbreak myself and go into the back of someone. Seems like my teammate's going to try and make a move on me. Although he's thought better of it down into the hairpin here. He's got an inside line though. I'm not going to let him take me there. And I've got the position. And it looks like he's under pressure as well from the people behind him. So. Hopefully we won't lose too many positions in our team and get a good points finish for Force India. I do find it a shame that the AI isn't 
very racy in the wet or quite so racy as they are in the dry. I wish they were a bit more well quicker in the wet. Um, and I took a, maybe a couple more risks. I don't want them to be crashing out everywhere but I do wish they were a bit faster. This is better than on the hard difficulty for AI speed. I'm going to put it up into rich mix here because last time my teammate tried to overtake me so I don't want that happening again. But I do, yeah, wish that the AI were a bit more racy in the wane. It was the wane, the rain, and the wet weather. I wasn't sure which one to say there, so I just put them together and went with wane instead of wet weather and rain. Bit of a tongue twister, rain and wet weather, it seems for me at the moment. But on to lap three now. Not much action going on at the moment. As we head into turn one. Alonso is keeping a pretty consistent distance in front of us um, as I go a little bit wide here in turn three and then exit out into turn four I believe I'm not sure on those numbers but if then if that's turn four in theory then this is turn five I've just set a fastest sector one there it seems. I don't know if that's just my fastest sector, but it is a purple sector. So I'm happy with that. And another fastest sector there. But I've only been getting the fastest sector in sector one, not in sector two or three, and I didn't on the previous lap, so Yeah, just sector one at the moment. Uh I might be able to overtake Alonso at some point if the weather gets better, but then he might be able to get faster then as well so I don't know I don't want to risk anything because I think this points finishing position would be quite nice to end in um, considering I have raised the difficulty and this is a pretty realistic position for 2016 um, for the Force India but there is a blue patch of sky I saw there before we turned around this corner so I don't know, the weather could get better, and it did seem on the forecast when I was setting this up the strategy that the weather would get better, so I don't know, we might see some more action yet, and I'm going to put it up into Rich Mix for the straight here. So my engineer thinks it, it would be the right call to stick with the intermediate tyres for now, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take their advice, put it back down into standard now, because I don't want to spin up the tyres and go flying round. You can see some action ahead with the two Red Bulls and the Ferrari and it seems like Alonso is going to make a move on Ricardo, and Ricardo's going to try and go up the inside of Vettel. It's a sandwich here. Can we get in on some of this action? Oh, it looks like we can. We're very close to the back of Sebastian Vettel here. Can we try and make an overtake? I'm not going to risk anything like I said because I'm quite happy with this position anyway as it stands. So can we beat Vettel out in power? The Ferrari does have more, well, we've got the Mercedes engine. The Ferrari has better aero and I'm going to try and break Ooh, side by side there. But I think the Ferrari is just about beating me out there. I'm going to let him take that and settle for 8th place again and take another um, attempt on the straight, I think. Hopefully I can try and get a little bit of slipstream off of Sebastian Vettel, but he's quite far ahead, so I doubt that will be happening. I want to try and break a little bit early here as well, uh, so I don't go into their rear-ending them. A little bit wide there, not what I wanted to be doing. Now they can really get away from me, but it does look like they have a queue forming behind the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. So... I don't know, hopefully you can hold them up a bit and I can catch back up to the cars in front of me. The little train of cars that has formed. It looks like Dame Ricardo as well is trying to make a move on Alonso up to the final corner. Has he made the move? Oh, they're side by side through the final corner, the three of the cars. It looks like Ricardo's had to go a little bit wide, but I think Alonso has held the position. I want to get closer to this and view the battle properly. It looks like Ricardo's fallen behind Sebastian Vettel. Vettel's back up into P4 or 5? Five? 5. That's P5 that he's in now. So you can see Sebastian Vettel there in P5. He's overtaken both Ricardo and the McLaren of 
Alonso with a double slipstream. Very nice overtake from the AI there. All rear-ended Ricardo. Not what I want to be doing. I've got a half yellow front wing. Uh, should be all right, I hope. Uh, just need to be a little bit more cautious in future. But it does seem like the rain is dropping off and the track is getting a little bit drier um, as we go through. You can see a couple of blue patches up there. Um, but again, still a lot of cloud. So we'll see what happens. But hopefully we can have a break in the cloud. We are halfway through the race, I've just realised. Lap 7. Ooh, breaking late, going deep. Not what I want to be doing. But it's okay, I've kept P8 and my teammate is behind me in P9 still, so not too bad points positions. Uh, still in the same positions as we started, I th well I am, uh, and my teammate is in the same position as he has been pretty much all the race. But he did qualify P11, so he's had a better race than I have in moving up through the field wise, but I think I'm the maximum of Force India can be on this difficulty. Maybe not, maybe it can go up one or two positions more with retirements or good luck or something, I don't know. Depends on the track I suppose. I mean some tracks I can perform at better than others. This isn't my strongest track, I'll admit that straight away. So uh, maybe there will be other races where we do better but for this one at least. Wait, we just moved up? Who went into the pits? Somebody's pitting for dry tyres it seems. Try and break the slipstream. Although I've brought him to the inside. My teammate's going for the overtake. And I've broken later than him. Sliding. No, locking up. My team have a new strategy. Yeah, I'm going to take it. What's their alternate strategy? Yes, I'm keeping it. I'll double stack. I don't care. I need to get off these tyres. There's a Ferrari coming in at some point. So there goes my teammate. Come on team, hurry up. Okay, good. Let me in. Thank you. Come on. Do my tyres. Do my tyres. Oh yeah, they're fixing my front wing. Fair enough. And I'm back out. P18, not very good position to be coming out in, but now I can make have some fun coming out through the field. I'm going to put it back down into standard mix for fuel. And now we've got five laps of some overtaking to do. So this is going to be fun. Stuck behind Grosjean now. I'm going to put it up into Rich Mix for the straight here. I'm going to try and do an overtake on Grosjean in the slipstream. Here we go. Oh, we got DRS gaining, gaining DRS. And I am now overtaking Roman Grosjean in his Haas. Breaking for the hairpin. And we have moved up to P17 now. And there's a little battle going up ahead of us somebody's got a problem in the car I didn't quite hear who it was because I was talking over my engineer and there's other people coming into the pits so that is very nice to see we'll make up to P13 there which is very nice and we are right on the back of Science Button and Massa so we should hopefully be looking to make some overtakes there as I go down into the standard mix and it looks like this race has really come alive with everybody going onto the soft compound tyres here in China. Looking at down the inside of Science, but not close enough to make an overtake or try to yet, but gonna try and keep on the back for the main straight, get slipstream and DRS on Science button and maybe Massa, I don't know, could get a double slipstream effect going on, but we'll have to wait and see for that, of course. Oh, a very long queue now behind Ericsson and Bottas as well. This is going to be very interesting when we come to the main straight soon. I'm going to put it up into Rich Mix early here. 
We have a very long queue forming. This is going to be fun. I'm dropping off. Grosjean's going up my inside. I'm going to have to re-overtake him now. I've had a slow corner there. But I've still got DRS. Here we go. DRS. This is going to be really, really dangerous coming into the hairpin. How many overtakes can I do? I'm up into P12. Behind Grosjean. Nice position to be in. Breaking here for the final corner. But I've got DRS for the pit straight. And I've overtaken Grosjean. Can I overtake Button as well? With DRS I'm going to go around his outside. Don't knock me off Button. He's going to try and go up the inside. But I've gone around the outside. And I've taken P10. Pascal Verlein is out of the race. This is really getting exciting here in the last few laps. And I'm back up into P10. Oh no, I'm going wide again. Going to pull it in. Put it up into Rich. It looks like everybody's going to get DRS on me now. I'm the front of the train. Oh no, I've got DRS to try and hope to defend. No. No. And I'm going to break later than all of them. Oh, we've got a yellow flag. Somebody's off over there. So they can't overtake on the yellow flag. Thank you. You have saved me, Pascal Verlein. I assume that is since he went out of the race. The yellow flag saved me there. And I've kept P10. Final lap now, and we are still in the same position as the previous lap. Not much going on here. And it does look like that I am gaining on Massa. I might be able to get within DRS of him, but I'm not too sure. I need to good get a good exit out of these corners here. Looks like Lewis Hamilton is the race winner. And I've got a pretty decent exit from that corner. And it looks like I am going to get DRS, but I'm not sure if I am actually close enough to Massa. Maybe a late breaking move into the hairpin here might help. Little bit closer... But I don't think it's going to do it unless I can make a brash move up the inside into the final corner. Or with DRS here. Now I've gone too wide. It looks like I'm going to have to settle for P10 at the Chinese Grand Prix. So it looks like Kimi Raikkonen got P2, Hamilton was the winner as we know, and Rosberg P3. So quite a good podium there, um, mix of drivers. Although of course the Mercedes is going to be dominant and both on the podium, so there you go. So I finished P10 which means I get one point. Uh, my teammate ended up P6, what? He really capitalised off those pit stops there. Shame that I got bogged down and stuck behind him, but I I kind of had to. I think I lost. It would have lost equal time either way, really double stacking. But P10, not too bad. I lost two positions, which I'm not happy about. Um, so that means I am in P6 in the uh, the thingy. What do you call it? The driver's standings. There we go. It's there on the screen. And it looks like Kimi Raikkonen, Lewis Hamilton and Ricardo P2 in the driver's standings. Wow, well done to him. Um, but yeah, quite nice to be in P6. Constructors, we are down to P4. Um, not too great there of a performance from Force India. But 
Yeah, Mercedes are out into the lead now in the Constructors' Championship as well. So, looks like this season is ramping up a bit. Getting a bit more realistic now. I've put the difficulty up. And I think I'll leave it like this. See how it goes. Uh, got some more... Um, introduction to career score. Career score is... Uh, yeah, sure. I know that. I had it last t time. Okay, so that is the end of this career mode episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you are new and want to see more F1 2016 content, and I will see you next time. Bye.